You know, I always mused, what would it be like if instead of burying our old folks, we taxidermied them and had them stuffed and mounted instead for memorialization purposes? After seeing this imagery, I can say I now know what that's like, and it's just as horrifying as I imagined it would be. Secondly, I don't like being in the position of being a Satanist that has to come to the defense of Christians as much as I do in my video responses to this guy due to his idiotic straw man argumentation, out of context taking, and bullshit blanket statements. I'm alright with people that have atheistic perspectives, I'm alright with people that have agnostic perspectives, and believe it or not, I'm even alright with people that have Christian perspectives, Muslim perspectives, Jewish perspectives, Buddhist perspectives, Taoist perspectives, anything that you can fucking name. So long as they can construct those perspectives and arguments, literally, with obvious education behind it, coherently, and put it out there in a way that makes sense and actually provides a fair argument of discourse for both sides involved. What I'm not a fan of is anybody that goes and hoists upon their own shoulders, like Morg here, entities or denominations of Christianity, such as the Westboro Baptist Church, or any other firebrand, snake-handling, Estes Perkle-level insanity you're going to find in only the deepest nether regions of the Bible Belt, and say that that's a fair representation of the average 9 to 5, moderate by contrast, Christians that we have not only in this country of the United States of America, but at the world at large, saying that that's an overwhelming majority of what they're like out there, when the reality is it's an underwhelming minority. However, though it has the craziest shit to say and says it the loudest, it always gets picked up in the media and then gives people this false impression about people that believe something that I am ideologically, diametrically oppositional to in the realms of argumentation about religion in general, spirituality overall, life in general, morals, ethics. I'm not going to deny a person a fair argument just because they ideologically think different than I do, because that's dishonest and it's fucking unfair. And it's really weird that it's taking a Satanist to point that out to somebody who espouses a philosophy that literally is just Satanism repackaged and rebranded because he needs to be a little bit too hip and cool for the rest of us. Oh boy. As my last video might have pointed out to you, this video is a shit show of epic proportions, and I'm gonna rip it apart because, well, that's what I've been doing for about 10, 11 years now on YouTube with weirdos like this, and I know that you guys get entertainment out of that, and so do I, because it's just joyous to see weird, culty, strange fuck-ups on the internet clamor to try to make sense to people when the only people they can make sense to are people that, honestly, don't have the single fucking first clue of what it is they're talking about. So let's get this on the road, shall we? Here we go. The Christian God is a perverted peeping Tom that watches everyone fucking masturbate. What a classy way to start your video. I'm glad you're a man of taste. And by that, I mean the kind of salty tastes that are hard to get out of your mouth, even with the assistance of Listerine. The Christian religion says that God sees everything that everyone does and that he knows their thoughts. Okay, so what is God to you? A voyeuristic Santa Claus? He knows that you were fapping. He knows that you just came. So, think of how much hardcore porn the Christian God has watched over the years. Probably the same amount of softcore that you've had splayed across my screen for the last 15 seconds now. Which leads me to my first point, which I alliterated in my first video about this video overall. This guy's demographic sits between the ages of about 15 to 30 years old. And I'm not even going to concern myself with the margins of 18 and up or 21 and up. Because as we all know, from 18 and forward, you can legally watch porn, fuck, and smoke, in most states, till your heart's content. 
And from 21 and up, you can throw a little bit of booze and gambling into the mix and do that in excess to your heart's content as well. It's the margin between 15 and 17 that bothers the ever-living shit out of me. And due to that margin... I'm not a happy camper, because if you're willing to utilize sexually explicit imagery right off the bat in your video without warning, knowing that you have a demographic margin of people from within those age groups, and in some cases a little bit younger, that means that you're kind of aware this could be construed as what's called grooming, making them okay with sexually explicit behavior that they may or may not have engaged in at that point in their lives to try to ease them into a way of being okay with it. Am I taking this far out of context? Am I reading far too much into this? Well, if it weren't for the fact I noticed over the last few months of doing these videos that similar tactics and other facets have been employed all over the place in his videos, yeah, I'd say to be fair to construe that. However, unfortunately, I believe that is what's going on here. And it gets even worse as we go even further into this. So let's dive even further into this rabbit's hole, which actually probably will turn out to be the asshole of Jabba the Hutt. God, what's with the imagery I inadvertently give you guys in this? I am sorry. In fact, he's watched every porn movie ever made. Well, if that's the case, then God and you have finally found some common ground after all. You could probably settle your differences once and for all now, since you're both a bunch of chronic masturbating ego strokers. No matter how sick or illegal and twisted it might be, he's... I don't like the fact that you put emphasis on the word illegal the way you did after I just got done talking about what I just got done talking about, and accompanied it with imagery of a girl being taken away with a gun to her head. What the hell was that supposed to imply? Edginess for the sake of edginess, or are you trying to say the only thing that gets your dick hard is snuff films? Easy now, Jeffrey Dahmer. You can blow your load after the recording time is done in this video. You just have to pinch it off until then. Watched everybody fuck, even you. Spooky. What a pervert. He should be in jail. They should lock him up. Because you know, the imagery of you trying to pretend to be a voyeur or, or here or... Whatever the fuck this is, I guess you're trying to do your cosplay of the fucking East Side Rapist or whatever. It's not funny to me, it just seems that this is a projection of something you might actually be into, because you kind of look like the type of person that would be into that. Because he could stop at any time, but he doesn't. That's because he must be jerking off to it. I don't want the imagery of you jerking off to a married couple fucking while staring in through their bedroom window floating around my headspace, so please stop now. He gets off to it, apparently. Stop. The more taboo, the better. This guy's into the sickest BDSM, and that's why he constructed hell. It's the cosmic dungeon and torture chamber, supplied with every apparatus required by sadists and masochists, dominants and submissives, bondage lovers and disciplinarians. Thank God I've floated around the gothic community and the BDSM community for as long as I have, so I can know that guys like this in the bedroom are the most flopping disappointments and letdowns you will ever hope to find. Bottom bitches till the end. And that probably told you a few things about myself you didn't know. So, uh, surprise, I guess. His best buddy, his accomplice, his partner in crime, is his co-conspirator, the devil. That isn't even remotely what Satan's presence in the Bible is or even as a figure in spirituality in general. You really don't know a goddamn fucking thing about theology in any regard at all, do you? Nope. If you're willing to say something that turbo-retarded, I think it can be said. You don't know a goddamn thing about theology in any regard at all but you make up a whole bunch of cool-sounding bullshit that makes it seem like you do. Because goddamn, son. God's shadow projection. Th okay, so God needs an overhead projector now. Great. Think about this. Think of Christianity. How sick do you have to be to worship a Jewish rabbi crucified by the Romans 2,000 years ago? Uh, not very, because being a Christian in and of itself is not sick. Believing in Old Testament ethics? Pretty sick. 
but just being an average 9-to-5 Christian that's not really doing anything to hurt anyone. They just have a set of ideological, philosophical, and spiritual beliefs that might be kind of wacky on paper. Isn't sick. You're going to have to give me more than that to just say that it's sick to be a Christian. Because why? You're just saying, in general, it's sick. Who diddled your butthole behind Daddy's parish? It's always had me wondering. Because your hatred towards Christianity goes down to ad hominem levels, where it's less an attack on the ideology or the religion, and more just an overall assault on the individual followers of it. Which is weird. To me, it's weird. I mean, what the fuck? Is this a religion or a sexual perversion? How did we get to sexual perversions? Where the fuck are we now? I love these videos for the fact that I can experiment with teleportation in the sense that we'll just teleport from one crazy ass set of bullshit to another without any real distance traveled between point A and point B. It's just boom, point A and you're gone and then you're immediately at point B and there's nothing that connected the two. So now being a Christian in general, is a sexual perversion somehow. After some weird banter and spiel about Satan and, and BDSM and... Where the fuck are we exactly now? The musician Marilyn Manson said, It finally happened. John 5 is quoting Marilyn Manson. Who would have thunk? Jesus is a half-naked guy hanging nailed to a cross, and then people wear that around their neck, and then those are the people that are upset about violence in movies. And Marilyn Manson wouldn't have much solidarity with an individual such as yourself who then cooked up his own religion and tried to shill it to the masses in the same way that Christianity shills its bullshit to the masses. Just because you want to pander to an important figure amongst the subculture of people that you're marketing this to doesn't actually mean that Mr. Manson is going to give a flying rat's fucking ass about you. You really don't know much about him as a person outside of his entertainment factor or him as a... Uh, musician or him as just a public figure as an individual with his own actual opinions and such you've really never read too much into that have you clearly not and what does this quote have to do with porn and bdsm now we're talking about violence in movies who diddled you in what church because your assault on Christianity is making no sense to even a person that is, as I've stated in the beginning of this video and many times over my time here on YouTube, just completely ideologically opposed to Christianity for reasons that make obviously a hell of a lot more sense than, I hate Christianity, but I'm not going to actually tell you why. But here's my antithesis version of it that I want to sell you at a discount price. And that no way makes me the same as people like fucking Pat Robertson and shit. Ugh, or Jim Baker. Or name evangelist dipshit here. Christianity is a projection of the fucked up sexual obsessions and fetishes of its followers. And this shit in no way at all is a projection of any of the fucked up weird shit floating around whatever the fuck it is in your brain that gets you hard. It's one of the reasons why you had a photo manipulated version of the BDSM symbol According to a lot of my fans, that's apparently what this spiral is. It's a modified BDSM symbol here, right? Because that kind of symbology totally doesn't make this a projection of your sexually fueled desire to want to control people due to a lack of control over certain factors of your own life. And again, I like to point out, you don't like when people call your organization a cult? Well, I find that funny since you're willing to do that yourself. Amazing. Every Christian is secretly kinky, a sexual deviant. I was in Christian private schools most of my academic life. You didn't need to tell me that. But not in any kind of good, positive, interesting, healthy way. I beg to differ, and so does my penis.
They love their god so much that they secretly want to fuck him. Well, it didn't take too long to get into giga-retarded, I guess. Do you actually believe what you just said? Do you actually believe that Christians, which are now converting away from Christianity to any other type of secularism, even atheism, agnosticism, Satanism, in record numbers more than any other time in history now, are so monastically attached to their system of beliefs that they actually want to physically engage in sexual intercourse with God. Like, I don't know what is a sarcastic remark in your videos anymore, and what is something that you actually wholeheartedly believe. Because so much of this bullshit at its face is so stupid, I just, it's now hard for me to tell the difference. I don't like that fact. On its face, I don't like that. <laughs> and they can't imagine living without him. Yeah, that's why lots of Christians are just saying, okay, fuck this shit, I'd rather be an atheist now in higher numbers than ever before in history, right? All of their perversions have been repressed into their unconscious what a shadow and so they project their secret obsessions externally in their religion no they don't you really need to actually study religion a little bit instead of focus on all the times when you were a kid and somebody hit you in the face with a bible and then pounded your asshole like a jackhammer for 20 minutes straight for not wanting to listen to the pentecostal shithouse extolling bullshit that you probably got exposed to as a kid because i'm not even going to attempt to be nice in this video anymore okay i'm going into edge lord levels of assholery here with this now christians all over the place fuck freely in the privacy of their own homes unless you're talking about sm certain denominations like different types of mormonism or jehovah's witness and stuff where that is actually repressed in most other denominations like lutheranism and especially catholicism spreading thy seed totally encouraged what a person does in their private life is really no concern of either of us either so I find it funny that you're sitting here bitching at Christianity under the delusion that all denominations across the board repress people when that's not really the case. It's only in certain individual denominations. And then you're making it your place to then cast stones on what people do in their bedroom anyway, which is something that people get on a lot of Christians for doing. <laughs> These parallels, the... They bother me a little bit. How more obvious can it be when their religion is founded on God fucking Mary and knocking her up? Well, that's unfortunate for your argument because that's not what happened. God didn't descend from the heavens with his big glowing 50 foot long holy cock and then jam it right up Mary's pussy and come in her with the seed of Christ is some bullshit magic crap we're supposed to believe actually happened. And even if that wasn't absurd enough, the fact of the matter is that Mary was apparently 12 at the time, and Joseph was like my age. I'm 30. So, if you actually are taking that seriously, and you think that the majority of moderate Christians out there, the average, you know, ilk you'll see just floating around the la landscape just about everywhere, you think they believe that is literal, you are fucking stupid. You're stupid. You're dumber than the kind of people you're trying to shit on. <laughs> like, holy shit. Hyperionism absolutely supports BDSM. I know, and I hate the reasons for why it does, and I'll explain those in a minute. And the exploration of sexuality. I know, and I hate the reasons for which it does. And no, I'm not actually against BDSM, and no, I'm not actually against sexual exploration or freedom. But we'll get to why I don't like what this guy utilizes either of these concepts for in a moment. We're all about reason and logic, 
the true logos, the nova aspect of our psyche. There's nothing that that actually fucking means. But keep bitching. That's the truth of the world, but BDSM is where we explore the mythos shadow aspect of our psyche, the portion that loves untruth, unreason, illogic, and fantasy. I really want to tie you up by the neck from a street light and watch you turn purple and eventually blue and then go limp. You like BDSM because there is a strong psychological component to any BDSM session for people that are either inexperienced with it or just new to any type of real sexual, sexual exploration in general. And anybody worth their salt that's been around this community or has been involved in that kind of stuff for a long time will tell you assholes like this are the last type of people you want as a dom at any session because they're not trying to get you to actually explore your inner sexual desires or open you up as a person. What they're trying to do is break you down to a state that is extremely vulnerable, extremely exposed, and extremely intimate so they can fuck with your head. You ever heard of the book series Fifty Shades of Grey? The reason why Christian Grey is portrayed as an asshole, which he is in those books, is because that is exactly what his character in those books is doing. And these kind of people aren't just existing in fiction, they exist in reality, and they're usually guys like this that have no business putting people into those kind of positions so they can worm their way deep into their psychology, make them feel indebted. Then the fact that they're engaging in such sessions of sexual exploration with them, utilize that in and of itself as a blackmail against these people to riddle their lives with guilt so they then feel even more indebted to serving whatever idiotic whim this guy wants to extrude upon people. And that's just disgusting to me. You have to understand what BDSM is to sit there and you understand what assholes like this utilize it for. As a person who has been around this shit for years, I don't mind people that engage in it consensually. They understand what it is that they're getting into and they're not being fucked with and they're not having their heads played with. And I'm all about sexual freedom and sexual exploration. I'm not about ugly fucking stupid twiggy fuckwits who want to look like John 5 and shave off their eyebrows, who have control complexes that engage in this kind of behavior with people just so they can fuck with them on an intimate, deep, and exposed vulnerable level to enhance how much that person feels a sense of manipulated loyalty to their dom at that point. That shit is manipulation. That shit I consider a form of emotional abuse. That shit is absolutely fucked and that shit can get the fuck out of here. Ever since those stupid books came out, there was an uprise of people like this because it gave them a way to be able to get their dicks hard by manipulating people who wanted to try out something new because they could only get their dicks hard by manipulating people. I guess nipple clamps weren't enough for this guy. You know, the Dionysian rather than the Apollonian. Uh, I don't know what Dionysian or Apollonian is, but this guy is hot. What a demographic, huh? What the fuck are we bringing in shit from the fucking Greco-Roman times in here for? Oh, that's right. It sounds neat. But in reality, if you know who Apollonius and Dionysus were, I'm not going to fucking want to sit around in some kind of cult of Bacchus with this guy while he gets his dick sucked by 14-year-olds. The id rather than the superego. The shadow aspect rather than the Nova aspect. I have a very hard time believing that this guy wants anything other than his super ego sitting on a fleshlight. Fuck Disneyland. We'll build BDSM shadow zones and explore every possible kink listed in the Bible. That disturbs me since I know what people like you use BDSM as a tool for. And I know where your demographic really fucking sits at. <sighs> I wonder what kind of horrors we'd find if your hard drive were raided one day without your knowledge that it was even happening. 
You know, at the same time, I don't want to know. Religious institutions have made sexual lusts off limits. Bullshit. Some of the perviest fucking people you'll meet in your life are the people you'd think were the most uptight, moralistic Christians that you ever bumped into in society. You need to get out of the dark, dank, windowless, candlelit apartment you hide yourself from the world and near agoraphobia from because you understand one thing once you do so. The world is not as easy to pigeonhole as you would like to think it is. Some of the kinkiest fucking people that you will ever meet in BDSM clubs or anywhere near that culture or community actually are the most average people in the regular world you'll ever meet. People that work in the corporate world, school teachers, out the ass, executive types. I don't understand where your need to continuously blanket and stereotype groups of people comes from. But you're getting a lot of people to believe that that is an accurate model to look at the world through. And even if we remove this from the realm of being about sexual expression and freedom and BDSM, in general, looking at the world through literal tunnel vision like that is unhealthy in general. People are difficult to pigeonhole. People are difficult to label, which is why it's not good to pigeonhole or fucking label them. Because as you will notice all over your journeys in life, if they're not as boring as this guy's, people will continuously surprise the Shit out of you. Which has created mass repression across the globe. Not really. If that were the case, then why is sex positivity on the rise? Why is sex work in general being more and more accepted, aggrandized, socially unrepressed, really? Yeah, if people bitch about it on Facebook. But it doesn't change the fact that more and more people are getting into it as an institution and they're finding great financial benefit in doing something that allows them to express their inner sexual freedom and empowerment. Where the fuck is this idea that a repression wave is hitting the fucking world coming from in your tiny little fucked up stupid tunnel vision way of looking at the world? I mean, you know, maybe 1400 years ago you'd have had a point. I'm not over here buying indulgences. At least the kind of indulgences you think that people buy, where they go buy their fucking redemption from Christ and shit, like we're living in the Middle Ages. The twisted religion of Christianity and the violence that it's propagated across the ages. Okay, so it's only Christianity to, that represses people in different regards to you? Uh, you want to talk about repression and religion? Have some travels down to Saudi Arabia. Places that are controlled by insane, radical Muslim ideologies, radicalized Islam. You want to talk about fucking repression? Shit. I mean, if you get a shit on a religion, I don't mind. But shit on them all equally. Don't just pigeonhole one. I guess that's my word of the day today is pigeonhole. I've said it way too many times for me to just think it isn't my word of the day now for some reason. And then ignore all the rest that do the same kind of shit you're pissed off about this religion doing. Because it just, like I said earlier, makes me think, someone diddled you, you're mad about it. And rather than deal with that correctly with the aid of a therapist, who'd probably have you locked up in an institution for the rest of your obvious cluster B personality disorders that could fill a laundry list, you just extol all your hatred for one incident in your life upon an entire group of people. Like an asshole. Okay. Is exactly what you get when you believe in fantasy rather than logic and reason. Because the entire universe is going to be explained to you by a guy that actually believes that he was chosen by a panel of Illuminati to lead the world into a new age and called it the age of Hyperionism. How the fuck at that point could you say that fucking Christianity is fantasy while being the dude saying that shit? <laughs> oh, what? When you repress your sexual urges rather than explore them. So we'll... Yeah, the problem is you're not about sexual exploration. You're about psychological exploration. But lulling somebody's sensibilities down and their gullibility is down, and, and getting them to the most exposed and vulnerable they can be. I don't like you. God, 
God, I really don't like you. And the kind of people that would associate with you on a daily goddamn basis that would are also the types of people that I really wouldn't like. Because it obviously shows that either they're okay with this kind of shit and fuck all of you, or they're just not really paying much attention to the shit that's rolling out of your mouth like a big-ass fucking vent on the end of a septic tank just spewing horse and bowl and human piss and vomit and shit all over the fucking street where people are thinking, hey, this is somehow better than all this religious garbage this guy's shitting on as well, even though it's just about on the same level of nonsense. Deusexual exploration is just another vice that people need actualized in their life that you can exploit to dig your way into their mind harder. Ugh, makes me want to fucking puke. Give all you Christians exactly what you unconsciously desire, the ultimate BDSM experience. You're all yeah, I'm sorry, but guys like you don't give me anything other than fucking a limp dick and a fucking high, bad, sad, fucking disappointing time. Already getting hard at the thought of it, aren't you? Come on. Not, not really. And admit it, you're wet. All of your dreams will come true. You this is not hot. This is like watching somebody's grandpa in a fucking wig try to get me all fucking sexed up here. You're, for one, the wrong age and the wrong appearance to get me hard. And it's just creepy that, like, this guy... Y you, you can't run a channel based on an organization like this and be unaware of what your demographics are in order to continue getting good video views and in order to keep running this as a business an effective model of business in any way shape or form you have to be up on your analytics and your analytics are going to show you where your demographics are and when you're intentionally putting content like that in your videos aware of where your analytics are stating that your demographics are at you know what you're marketing this to at that point, there's no way you can even utilize the argument of saying, well, you can't ignore my demographics from 18 and 21 plus, and I can say that I can because it's just a safety net for you to kind of fall back on because this is definitely not directed towards them at this point. <laughs> They're already engaging in sexual exploration with one another in their own age groups, and they probably have been for some time. That's not what this is marketed to. I'm not an idiot. You don't need to lie to yourself in the world anymore. We'll give you everything you've dreamed of. Total submission to a total dominant. You're not dominant. You look like the kind of person that would fucking squeal like a fucking pig even to a wormy little piece of shit like me. You're not even remotely intimidating, and you don't even fucking come off to me as a person that could exude any sort of submission from a person like myself at all. You don't have the personality nor the demeanor for it. You just look like a person with a small dick and control problems because he has to exude control over other people due to a lack of control over varying elements in his own life. Which is usually what breeds these kind of personality problems in people. It's probably one of the reasons your insecurity got you to shave off the migraines, cake your eyes and mascara to the point they're like smudging up into your forehead ridge and look like a fucking heroin addicted Dave Mustaine pasty space Jesus. Again, a little hard to take this visage seriously, but I do try. I know, I know, you can't thank me enough and all that, you're welcome. What could be better than turning Christianity from a sick, warped religion to- Please don't tell me that the reason this guy's talking with only one hand right now is because he's jerking off while filming this. Telling nothing but grotesque lies into a healthy, exciting, sexual extravaganza celebrating the sexual frustrations and fantasies of this dude of ancient humanity. Well, okay, so this dude, because he does look pretty ancient. I mean, he really does look like somebody dug up somebody's elder, stuck him in a wig, and propped him up with an elaborate set of trusses and is working that shit like a marionette. I've got your back. You can trust me. I'm here to save you from Jesus. No, you're here to go blow a load at the fact that you want to control people by getting them, as I said again, down to their most exposed, intimate, and vulnerable, and fucking with their mind. I don't like you, and I can't state that enough. I don't like you at all. Ugh. I wonder what would happen if somebody posted this on FetLife to people that are actual doms. 
people that are actual disciplinarians, as you call them, people that have been in the community long enough to know what you utilize it to accomplish. I wonder what they would have to say about that. Now, there are people into psychological play. They call it psych play. And it's kind of weird to me. But they understand even then that there are limits to these things. <sighs> Too bad you don't. Verily I tell thee, sin for salvation, sex for salvation. You must quench every lust before you can attain transcendence. Uh, no you don't. Unless this is now just a bizarre sex cult. Notorious cult leader Jim Jones said, if anyone comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. Oh, okay, so now we're going to just quote Jim Jones straight up now. You didn't like the comparison? Fuck it! Let's embrace it! Why is it that my channel is the one getting shit all over by YouTube? But this is totally fine content to just leave sitting around there. The fuck? Actually, just kidding. That was the notorious cult leader Jesus Christ that said that. Oh. Whoopee. Luke 14, 26. Look it up. Can you imagine the amount of shit I would get from Christians if I said anything like that? You're getting shit from people because you're a weird pasty control freak on the internet suggesting that it's okay to market the idea of getting into a fucking sexualized relationship with a fucking 40 year old vampire looking motherfucker is okay for somebody that's like 17 or 15. You're getting shit on mostly by Satanists. Scientists, mathematicians, physicists, people a lot more literate in their varying disciplines you manipulate the existence of to your own advantage than you are by Christians. Can you stop being such a fucking wussy faggot and actually acknowledge where the amount of hatred that's actually befalling you is actually coming from instead of inventing a bullshit boogeyman that just the fuck isn't there? Can you have some intellectual honesty at all? Please? You'd never hear the end of it. They'd call me a monster and a Satanist. They'd crucify me. Uh, no. I'd crucify you because you're a sick control freak with a small dick and a con fucking manipulation problem. Yet and I've been crucifying you endlessly with these videos, which clearly your responses to this kind of shit have been driving you nuts. <laughs> you don't think driving you're nuts lately. Because their cult leader, Jesus Christ, said it, they bend over backwards. To Most of the people, too, that become interested in what you have to say are Satanists, so then you just shit over a portion of your own demographic, too. Defend it, to support it, and to explain it away. They spend an age trying to understand it and be sympathetic towards it. So what? People could do the same thing for this, and then they're no better. If you're gonna shit on religion, shit on them equally. Just don't fucking take one out of the bunch and say this one is shittier than all the rest. Even though there are many different correlations between Christianity's shittiness and the shittiness of other systems of thought. If anyone else said it, they would tear them to shreds without a second thought. Which is what I'm doing right now. Of course, that's the whole problem with these shameless hypocrites. They unconditionally reject everything not said by their cult leader while unconditionally accepting everything that is said by their cult leader. So in your opinion, is my cult leader Anton LaVey? <sighs> God. Even when it's actually the same as what other cult leaders say. So if Jim Jones... No shit, Jim Jones was going to say the same things as you find in the Bible because he knew that religion was a powerful psychological entity to utilize against people to manipulate them. Obviously, this is something that you have in common with Jim Jones because you realize the same thing to an extent. It'd be a dishonest fucking statement from you to say otherwise. It'd be hypocritical says hate your own life come with me unto death the christians call him a diabolical dictator if jesus christ says hate your own life and come with me what are you saying at that point you're saying your life isn't good enough the way it is so come with me and i'll lead you into the light how the fuck is that any different than religion
and to death. How the fuck is that any different than Christianity? My God, you're having me fumble over my own ideas and words now because this is so stupid and hard to follow. They all fall on their knees to worship him and give him a blowjob. If the state said, murder your son to prove your faith, loyalty, and obedience to the state, they would revolt against the state. Not really. People in this country are on a record high of complacency. And by the way, they do that all the time with selective service. Even worse in countries that believe in conscription. But if Jesus Christ says, murder your son to prove your faith, loyalty, and obedience to me, then they say hallelujah and immediately worship him. Where the fuck are people murdering their sons to prove their loyalty besides the deepest nether regions of the Bible Belt? And the last few times it happened, it hadn't been somebody caving their kid's head in with a rock. It's been stupid loony dipshits that aren't taken seriously even by other Christians that let their kids die of illnesses because they're faith healers. Who the fuck gives a shit about what people like that think? Even other Christians disregard those numbskulls. What a joke. They're mindless, insane sheep. Now, which one of us said that? Because this video is a joke. Sheep with no ability to think for themselves. Uh, isn't that what you got the main congregation you have here on YouTube and Facebook from, spooky meth head Jesus? Everything they say is a fatal contradiction. These people call everyone else cultists, while they themselves are the biggest cultists in history. Says the guy who leads a cult. The earliest Christians were a suicide cult. They went singing into the Roman arena to be eaten by lions. Or they were forcibly thrown into the Roman arena to be eaten by lions because Romans were debaucherous, stupid assholes that liked watching people be eaten by lions for entertainment. They also liked taking people out of prison camps and forcing them to gladiator battle each other to death because they were debaucherous, self-obsessed, self-aggrandizing slobs and assholes. What does that have to do with anything? That was 2,000 fucking years ago. 3,000 fucking years ago. Can you, like, get with the modern age already? Or is your, like, time displacement device or whatever the fuck makes you look like a fucking weird space zombie not functioning correctly and you're stuck in between two eras? However, in Luke 22:36, you find Jesus Christ advocating violence. He said, and if you don't have a sword, sell your cloak and buy one. Nowadays, the... Oh, boy. So don't just let people walk all over you. The fundamentalist Christian Jesus would be an... It's better to be armed with your own fucking devices than be fucking shielded from the bullshit of the world and let people walk all over you. Good God, you're the worst kind of atheist because you're one that possesses no sense of inferential logic. NRA gun nut screaming from my cold, dead hands. Christian- You're goddamn right from my cold, dead hands because without any ability to defend ourselves from whatever fuckhead ideology comes down the pike opens the possibility that a country can be led by some stupid, egotistical, self-serving faggot like this guy. You're goddamn right. And it's more or less a statement about how the government shouldn't intercede into matters that are more or less the public's matters to deal with. That they shouldn't exude so much damn control over the populace they govern in their best interest that they're willing to break into my fucking house and take my firearms from me because they just said out of nowhere, well, guess what? You don't have the right to that anymore. Because every single time that's happened in history, dipshit, it's due to the fact that a tyrannical regime was about to take over the government initiating that. And it's been observed over and over and over and over again. Stalin did it. Hitler did it. The fucking Japanese goddamn did it. North Korea sure as fuck does it. The fuck would I want to live under any of those systems for? Having no ability to defend yourself from that bullshit is worse than having at least a moderate ability. So yeah, from my cold, dead hands, you fucking little pussy-ass pacifistic bitch who's obviously unwilling to stand up for what he fucking actually believes in and defend himself from any sort of oppositional tyranny that's gonna kick your ass with a jackboot one day. Fuck off. You don't have to be a Trump supporter to understand that. You don't have to be on the far right to understand that. You don't have to be on the alt right to understand that. And I'm definitely not on the far right, and I'm definitely not on the alt right. 
You think that everybody in the fucking world that supports a Second Amendment right to at least own guns is a fucking NRA nutcase that thinks we need to shoot everything brown. You need to pull your head out of your goddamn stupid fucking ass and realize that isn't reality, shithead. And the reason people get fucking mad about it as much as they do is they don't like fucking labels. Because I think those kind of people are fucking idiotic. And they give all other gun owners in the country a bad fucking name. I might live around the Bible Belt, but dickhead, my weekends don't involve me running around the woods with a big white conical hat with eye holes cut in it, if you know what I mean. Yours might. I don't know. As I said earlier, this world and the people in it really surprise you from time to time. Christianity damages the mind, killing its ability to think rationally. Oh, because you're the guy that says it's all fucking right to cause a division between the fucking lives of kids in their teens and the fucking parents that take care of them and their friends and authority figures. That's rational. Normal people are advocating for that. Not totally delusional fuckwits that want to get a whole bunch of teens and a weird BDSM sex cult to feed their ego. Oh, no, no. It's like a deranged school shooter slaughtering kids whose only crime is to try and get an education. I totally don't believe that you are in opposition to people like school shooters, considering that you've got music on your channel that exploits the existence of the Columbine incident for an edgy factor. Fuck you with that dishonesty. Guys like you aggrandize what school shooters do because you're a bunch of dipshits who think they're rebels against the system. They were bullied just like I was, and they did what I always wanted to do. Blow a bunch of fucking kids away for no reason. You're only taking the side of the argument that you expect a lot of the people who are in your fucking audience would take. But that I don't believe is your actual opinion on it. Because I've seen over the years dipshits like this aggrandize fucking Dylan Klebold and Eric Harris. Aggrandize people like fucking, uh, Ch what is his name? Chosan Hasoy, the guy that was a Virginia Tech shooter. I probably fucked his name all up. Aggrandize assholes like Randy Stare. Because you're a bunch of fucking retards who think they're edgy fucking rebels. They're your heroes and shit. That's why people that think they're dickheads but do happen to like music like Marilyn Manson's and other kind of heavy metal fucking artists do happen to like violent video games because we know they're just a video game. We get shit on because of assholes like this guy and their solidarity to these pieces of shit. Their fucking solidarity gets people like me who think that they are pieces of shit lumped into that category anyway. Thanks, fuckface. Now, because of people like Dylan Hogg and that other girl that goes up on this fucking, uh, these uh, talks that he does with him, now these assholes are backing away. They're fucking backpedaling and shit. Taking the other side of the argument now. Because it's popular for them to do so. Because they're a bunch of fucking pussies who sell out their beliefs and shit for whatever the fuck is going to be more widely accepted by their audience. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm sick of this shit. You fucking pussy-ass backpedalers. You said it for years, and now all of a sudden, oh, the right incidents happened. Now I gotta backpedal because I get it. No, you don't. You pandering bunch of fucking bitches. Fuck off. After all, Christianity has spread its ignorance, its anti-education, and hatred of intelligence everywhere. And it's the ultimate religion of violence, as its history so clearly demonstrates. Are we living... 3,000 years ago. No. Are the Crusades still going on? No. Yes, Christianity sucks. I'm a Satanist. I would definitely agree with the sentiment that Christianity sucks. But compared to other religions out there like radicalized Islam, it's pulled a little bit back from a lot of that fucking violence because other people out there have been ramping it up I, by about a million fold. Because they want to go back to those draconian times. It's not just Christianity. And here I am again defending it because you're stereotyping the shit out of it and extruding it to be something that it's not. Even though I'm completely ideologically opposed to it, I'm not even going to be that unfair with it totally despises reason. As Martin Luther, the first Protestant, said, 
Reason is the devil's greatest whore. By nature and manner of being, she is a noxious whore. She is a prostitute, the devil's appointed whore. Whore eaten by scab and leprosy, who ought to be trodden underfoot and destroyed, she and her wisdom. Throw dung in her face to make her ugly. She is and she ought to be drowned in baptism. She would deserve to be banished to the filthiest place in the house, to the shit house. The and you're the same kind of idiot that's going to sit there and say that Martin Luther is a heretic that should be burned at the stake, even though he was a reform figure in Christianity. And what you're quoting here is a fucking interpretation of one of his fucking quotes. One reason why Lutheranism existed is it wanted to pull a lot of the dogmatic nature away from Catholicism. That's what it's derivative from. So you're sitting here quoting a misquote at face value. Egyptian Pharaoh said, Slaves, in reverent fear of God, submit yourselves to your masters, not only to those who are good and considerate, but also to those who are harsh. Actually, Actually which Pharaoh said that? No. Just kidding again. That was St. Peter, Jesus Christ's right-hand man that said that. And guess what? All those saints sold his ass out. Am I supposed to sit here and think that you're any different than those kind of people? You look like the kind of dude who would sell out your disciples as well if it suited your agenda. You're no more righteous than any of these people. And you should understand that about anybody that says they're holier than thou. They're all full of shit. First Peter 2.18 I bet you didn't know that they advocated slavery. Is there any sicker... Everybody back in those days advocated slavery, and though it didn't make it fucking right, you're talking about an age from three millennia ago when humanity was living by a completely different standard. What do you think, that it's even reasonable to assume that human beings three millennia ago and the prototype of the civilization we have now would be living by the same standards that we live now? No, that's absurd and retarded. Holy shit. Legend. I'm not sitting there saying it's justified that slavery was a thing. I'm just saying that to, to compare 2018 to like, what, the year five is unreasonable and stupid. Human beings were different then. They lived by different standards. They lived by different ethics. They lived by different fucking morals. They were a completely different brand of human being than we have now. And to be honest, they're all over the place. They still try to justify slavery and shit all over the Middle East and a lot of these radically controlled places. They still try to uh, justify indentured sexual servitude and physical servitude. Where's your fucking big statements about that shit? You act like it's just gone, like it's done, like it does, it's not extant still, but it is all over the place. Where's your statements about that shit? You just pretend like it just ended all of a sudden, but Christians want to bring it back. No. No, not really. And there I am defending him again. It, it's fucking weird. I, I, I don't like seeing people unfairly misrepresented. And you just love unfairly misrepresenting people to suit your own fucking bullshit agenda. Christianity, the reason despising religion of slavery, violence, and total hatred. It's you mean radical Islam, right? extraordinary that these monstrous traitors who despise freedom and peace who worship what might as well be an alien god that exterminated the whole human race except for noah and his family have isn't that what your shit is about oh yeah that's right it is been allowed to spread all over the globe infecting everyone with their mental disease and their insane worship of et it's easy to regard Christianity as a murder cult. After all, Christians model themselves on Abraham, a psychopath who was ordered to murder his own son and immediately agreed. The tr Christians model themselves based on what their own personal values are, dipshit. Truth, though. Like most people of any religion. Christianity is a suicide cult. Christians worship a You're the one that says life is just a fucking irrelevancy, and though you don't want to encourage people to commit suicide, there's no fucking problem if they do anyway, because the only thing that'll happen is they'll just expedite their way to whatever the hell happens next. And the only reason you're really here is to fully understand what happens next. So suicide is just kind of a gray area you really don't care about. I don't think it's right for somebody in that position to get all pissed off that they think that fucking Christianity is a suicide cult when the idea of suicide cults seem kind of like a moot point to you.
Jewish rabbi who committed suicide by cop, or in this case, by Roman soldiers. I don't think Christ at any point in his life asked to die. How do you think it would be fucking for anybody that had to carry the burden on their shoulders for their entire life knowing the day they were going to die? Assuming that that's even true, which I don't. I think it's just another part of the fable. Tons of people were put down the way Christ was back in the day. Because the idiotic Roman authorities that controlled everything wanted to take out anyone that expressed any sort of disdain for their stupid, debaucherous, fuck-headed way of life. When Christ would say things like, I'm not of this world, he wasn't saying that he was like an alien or anything dipshit. He's like, I'm not of this world of bullshit and all these idiotic authoritarian control schemes that are existing all over the fucking landscape. Good God, it's hardcore Christians and fake atheists like yourself that take that shit literally. You're the only two types of people in this world that are stupid as fucking hell to take that shit literally as much as you do, but there you are. The rabbi didn't have to die. He could have avoided it. He chose his fate and thus was a suicide. According to many forms of Christianity. Yeah, he chose to get fucking nailed to a two by four and smashed over the fucking face and back with whips and have a big old crown of fucking bros thorns or whatever the fuck they were tied around his head and then stabbed in the side by a spear after getting pelted with rocks for hours on end. Again, nailed to a two by four. Sure, he chose that. Or probably was forced into it violently, like many other people who were crucified at that time were. Holy shit, you know nothing about history, you know nothing about theology, you know nothing about religion in general at all. You can't. You can't broad statement things like that as this badly and know what you're talking about unless you're willingly making exaggerated bullshit statements just to suit a narrative. So you're willingly being dishonest for a purpose. Christianity, suicides are damned to hell. So Jesus in Christ Catholicism, Christ is even in other denominations of Christianity, not so much. In many different denominations of Christianity, outside of Catholicism, you just end up in purgatory forever, not hell. Burning in the great lake of fire right now serves him right. Christianity is a snuff movie. It's a uh, okay. So you don't even holy shit. The entire story of Christ is that God made his son die for the sins of man so we could be forgiven for all the debaucherous, fucked up shit we get up to in our lives. And that's now making Christ burn in hell? What? What? Torture porn. What was the real original sin? It was Christianity. It's the easiest thing in the universe to free yourself from original sin. You just need to stop believing. Yeah, you're saying, don't look at me like that because it makes me want you to fucking suck off a shotgun barrel. You're basically not saying free yourself from sin. You're saying free yourself from morality. Free yourself from ethics. You're really dangerous, dude. Do not free your sense, yourself from a sense of morality. Don't free yourself from being attached to a sense of ethics. Once you lose sight that things that are right and things that are wrong exist, you're opening yourself to be completely okay with anyone doing anything to anyone without reason, without logic. That's creepy. That anyone would advocate for that. It's like sociopath status. In Christ, reject the Holy Spirit. The truth shall set you free. I'm also wondering if religion is just a smokescreen you use to talk about subjective and objective morality. And the truth is reason and logic, not some bunch of violent, repressive, and insane fairy tales from thousands of years ago. Oh, you mean Hyperionism. Wake the fuck up. Christianity Get woke people is the cult of unreason Nietzsche said so is that a way for you to say that you're yes uh, Accepting I am just running the antithesis of Christianity as I suggested so many times over that this is what this is I pronounce my judgment. I condemn Christianity. I bring against the Christian. I don't give a shit about what Nietzsche said anymore. In fact, he actually made me get rid of one of my books of Nietzsche's fucking philosophies because I'm sick and tired of owning the tome of edgelord ideology. 
It's all it exists the most terrible as charge any prosecutor has ever uttered. To me, it is the extremest thinkable form of corruption. It had the will to the ultimate corruption conceivably possible. The Christian church has left nothing. He's going to quote for the next fucking help. million years. I'm not going to fucking listen to this because I'm sick and tired of fucking Nietzsche's bullshit. I don't mind people that have an atheistic perspective again. I don't mind people that have an agnostic, any kind of perspective. I'm just sick and tired of people taking Nietzsche's fucking thoughts about things and then shitting them all up with this kind of Molgoth bullshit. Beauty, well constitutedness, bravery. Shut up. You're boring the shit out of me. Intrinsic. I mind. Amen. My name is Morg, and we are the cult of reason. Ad Astra. To the stars. <sighs> Make sure that you like and subscribe and check out my Patreon for hidden videos. If you enjoy my work, then consider joining us on Patreon. And for everyone there already, you guys are amazing, and it's been awesome getting to know you there. Thank you for all your support, my friends. If it didn't involve actually giving this guy money, I'd go join that too, just to shit all over this dude. <sighs> I need a drink. I don't mean an alcoholic beverage. I mean, I actually need, like, some water and stuff because to sit here and talk for over an hour is just, like, hard. It's difficult. So, anyway, until next time, please stop drinking the fucking Kool-Aid if you currently are. Realize that this isn't about sexual exploration. This is not about anything other than some fuckhead's desire to want to control you, to want to manipulate you, utilizing something that will bring you down to your most exposed, intimate, and vulnerable that this dude has some extraordinarily deep-seated, so very, very deep-seated psychological problems, personality problems, and this is nothing more than just a way to continue his ability to get off on fucking with you by controlling how you think, controlling your perceptions, controlling your perspectives. He shits on religion for doing it while doing the same thing he's shitting on religion for doing himself. I don't defend Christianity in this because I want to. Trust me, I really don't. I am a Satanist. I am confirmed in that. I do not give a shit to defend a fuckheaded ideology that is no better than this kind of shit. But I don't like seeing people taken out of context. I don't like people misrepresenting one extant thing as to being another that it's completely not. I don't like intellectual dishonesty. And I don't like people that are willing to sit there and say that, oh, I don't like skew shooters now because people like Dylan Hogg are actually making a message to the audience I want to appeal to, even though about 10, 15 years ago, assholes like me were in solidarity with the Columbine shooters and anyone else like that. It's sickening to me. At the end of the day, this guy is just a big fucking bunch of bullshit. Always has been, always will be. And you need to not get your perspectives on life sold to you at a discount price from nobody better than the kind of people he's shitting all over. He wants you to be tied to this crap, the same way Christianity wants you to be tied to its bullshit. Think for yourself. Don't think for yourself because another person wants you to think the way they think, telling you that's thinking for yourself because they led you to that conclusion. That's manipulation. It's bullshit. Anyway, until next time, take it easy, guys.